Okay. Uh, now we've tokenized our texts. Uh, we've got word counts for our text. We've done some frequency counts. Uh, we're now going to look at some simple visualizations. Uh, what we're going to do is visualize the most common words uh, using ggplot uh, for complete texts and incomplete texts. And by that, I mean by forum posts uh, produced by students that completed uh, the MOOC and by for and forum posts by students who did not complete the MOOC. All right, so we're gonna call in ggplot. Uh, as noted before, you should be relatively familiar with R, so you would know that ggplot is a library for visualizations. Uh, and the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to create a new data frame and we're gonna call this uh, comp words com frequency, so completed words frequency. We're going to set the filter uh, for n, which is our count, uh, to greater than 75, because if not, we're going to have a very, 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 very long visualization, uh, which we don't want. Uh, so we're only going to select common words. Uh, and this one, it's 75 words. Uh, we're going to mute. We're going to use the uh, function mutate here uh, to basically reorder words uh, based on size. We're then going to call in ggplot. We're going to use the aesthetics to look at n by word. Uh, and we're going to do that by columns. And we're going to have the x-axis labeled frequency, the y-axis labeled word, and the title is going to be uh, most frequent words complete. And this is what it looks like when you run it. Uh, you can see that the most frequent words are data and question, quiz and student and answering and learning and wrong. Uh, and then there's a lot of numbers in there and some other probably uh, coding related uh, by graphs like LT and GT. Uh, so those are four of the most frequent words in the forum posts by students who completed uh, the MOOC. And we're going to do the same thing uh, for the students who did not complete the MOOC. Um, and you'll note now that uh, we have a little bit of a different uh, bar plot uh, in the sense that data is still the most important word, but words like quiz and rapid minor and others have uh, come up more frequently. Words like wrong and error, things of that nature. So are there differences here? Uh, for the incomplete students, it looks like they have a greater focus on the quiz. Uh, they were more worried about things like capitals and errors. So there are some indications that they might be having some problems. Uh, for those that uh, completed it, uh, there are more numbers and functions uh, and more references to rapid minor. So they might be a little bit more engaged. Again, this is very surface level analysis. You can't tell much through this. This is just tokenization and word counts. Uh, we can do a little bit better though. We can combine this data for visualization. Um, so we want to then create a data frame with forum posts uh, that include both the students who completed and did not complete the MOOC. Uh, and we want to look at the words that are shared between those two uh, the frequency of those words by both group, and then uh, look at a side-by-side -side plot uh, to see if we can see anything that's different. Uh, this creates a better visualization. Um, uh, and an important thing to note here is that when you're visualizing two groups, it's incredibly important uh, to make sure that you normalize counts uh, for the entire corpus. So we know that there are fewer students who completed uh, the MOOC as compared to those that completed the MOOC. Those students probably produced fewer forum posts, so they produce fewer words. Um, and so if you have a word like data and you just do a raw count, just because there are more words and more forum posts by those who completed uh, the MOOC, uh, then you're going to have a higher count. So you need to normalize it by the overall number of words in each corpus. So you're going to basically divide it by 1,000 or 100 uh, I'm sorry, we're going to divide it by the number of words, and then we're going to multiply that by 1,000 or 100 to basically say this is how often this word happens per 100 words or 1,000 words uh, in a course. So let's create a shared tibble first. So that tibble is going to be called comp, incom, incomp, and freak. And we're going to use bind rows um, uh, and then mutate uh, to basically have a comp words freak, which is all going to be completion. Uh, and then comp, in comp words freak, and that's going to be the incomplete, right? So we're going to create a new tibble and mutate this to create new columns and names. We're also going to use mutate uh, to create this normalized score. It's going to be called a portion. It's going to be n divided by the sum of n. So this is basically 
uh, the number of times a word occurs um, divided by the total number of words in the corpus uh, times a thousand. So we're going to have norm portions by words per a thousand words. Uh, we're going to get rid of uh, the old n count because we don't need it anymore. Uh, and that's just using the function select. And we're going to say minus n. And then this is a long format. We need to pivot it wider. Um, and so we're going to take the names from completion uh, and the values from uh, proportion to get a wider data frame. And then we're going to omit anything uh, that does not have words, any words that aren't shared between positive and negative reviews. And if we look at that, then if we look at the structure of our new tibble, we're going to see that we have the word. Right? These are the words. Uh, and this is going to be the norm frequency uh, for those that completed. Um, the MOOC and those that did not complete the MOOC, right? And this is what the head is going to look like. It's basically the same. Uh, so data is the most frequent and complete, but it's well, it's oh, it seems to be much less frequent and incomplete. Uh, then we're going to visualize this using ggplot. Uh, we're going to take our data frame comp in comp freak. Uh, our aesthetics are going to be complete by incomplete, and we're going to label it by word. And this is going to basically create a scatter plot with points labeled by the word. Uh, we're going to set the uh, geome size to about two, makes it smallish. Uh, and then we're going to label our x and our y axis as complete and incomplete. Uh, we're going to put a smoothing uh, LM uh, regression line in here uh, by complete and incomplete. And then when we complete this, uh, we're going to get a visualization that looks like this. Uh, where words that are more frequent uh, on the com by students who completed it will be down below this uh, regression line and words that are more frequent for words that did not or for students that did not complete the MOOC are going to be above this line. Um, and we see similar uh, types of trends uh, where people that did not complete are worried about things like quizzes and they have more questions and things seem to be going wrong. Um, and those who completed it are seemingly doing some more coding uh, than those that did not complete. Okay, uh, so that is it uh, for simple visualizations, uh, and we're going to move on to some basic statistics uh, next. So hope you're uh, going to join me.